Welcome back to the Padilla Family Homestead. Today we are here for another garden tour and look at that archway. Um, so we're going to show you the good, the bad, the ugly at the end of July. It is July 30th of 2024, the date I'm recording this, so it's a little bit before you're going to see it. Um, and I came out here this morning and we had a something, a saboteur. Something got into the garden and ate some stuff. I have a feeling it was a deer, um, which doesn't make me super happy. It could have been something else. But I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to start this tour over here in bed one. So I've been waiting so long for my okra to grow. And something came over here and ate all the leaves off of my okra. So I have one little okra pod growing there. More leaves off of this okra. Look at that beautiful flower. And then this okra they seem to have left alone. So they like the Jing orange and the Okinawa pink more than the other ones. Um, so that's kind of what we have in this section over here are the three okras and the mullein plant, which apparently they didn't have respiratory issues. They left that alone. Um, my lemon verbena has not grown as well here as I thought it would have, um, but it's still going. And the pineapple sage is doing amazing. I'm actually going to be harvesting that here this week and doing some dehydrating. Down here we have our sage, our basil, and a bunch of oregano down at the bottom. Our Brussels sprouts, our skeletons, uh, that happened a little while ago. Um, it is um, caterpillars that did that. Flea beetles wiped out our eggplant. And then we have yarrow growing strong. We have parsley, um, both curly leaf and flat leaf. And we have our agastache here. Now we also have a ton of lemongrass back here. Um, my tomatoes are falling over. So I need to fix that. Um, but this is the back view of the tomatoes. I have another stem that's breaking on this plant so that that one's probably going to go pretty soon. Um, we may just be cutting our losses here with the tomatoes pretty soon. Look at that view of the tunnel though. Ooh, yeah. Okay, our peppers are still producing great. Uh, we got lots of banana peppers coming in. And um, we have snack peppers, which had blossom and rot. We ended up getting it right after I talked about not having it. So um, we took off the ones that had been growing. We've been getting a whole lot of nottapinos or coolapinos, which is awesome. Down here we have bell peppers growing. And we have mini bells on this one. So lots and lots of peppers growing. We have been harvesting a lot, but this is not full season yet. With when we transplanted, um, this is not the peak of the season. August will be our peak of the season for that. Here we have some baby bush watermelons that are growing. They're trying to do their thing. And then we're going to come into the basils finally picking up underneath the tomatoes. But this is that tomato plant that was dying really bad. There's still a lot of life to it, so I'm kind of just letting it hang on right now. I do need to retie it up because new growth is happening, which is awesome, and new flowers are setting. So right now I'm letting this just hang on as long as it can and hopefully ripen what's on it. And then I have tomatoes here. Lots of green tomatoes. Oh, look. <gasps> A garden snack. Got a garden snack. 
So, more tomatoes. Oh, and in here, we have lots of romas growing. Oh, there was a lot more. I'm telling you, I've been sabotaged. Okay, this plant is about to be taken out. It is very crispy all over. Lots of it is dying. Um, however, it is still producing little mini miniature white cucumbers. We've been pickling these. This has been a heavy producer, which is awesome. So um, I'm starting some seeds for this inside and then um, when this is ready, I'll take it out. I'm gonna come into the tunnel. Watching for spiders. Ooh, okay, you can see the first place we laid bark. I have not laid any more yet. Down here on the end, we've got honey nut squash. Lots of flowers. Lots of fun going on here. This is a spaghetti squash. This has powdery mildew though. So this has got to come out. I don't think we're going to get any spaghetti squash this year. But the powdery mildew is starting to transfer. Which kind of sucks. But it's been very humid and it's about to get even more humid. This is a long cucumber. These English cucumbers are delicious. So they're all over the place. Wrapping all the way around over here. And we come into our lemon cucumbers. Oh look, it's trying to get stuck. Let's not do that. So the lemon cucumbers, which were the fastest growing with the leaves, are just now putting out um, cucumbers. But man, is it a ridiculous amount of cucumbers. It's kind of amazing. The bees love it in here. They are pollinating like crazy. So we also have some Kajari melons starting. Another cucumber growing. And this was acorn squash that is just taking off. So it's like barely starting to see baby fruits. Looks amazing though. I have to come this way. So we're going to go back through the tunnel. What a crazy web we weave. And then on this end, I don't know if we have cantaloupes climbing up here or not, but we def I think those are going to be cantaloupes. Um, and this is some more sugar bush watermelon, sugar baby watermelon. So growing up the outer edge here. Our lemon squash broke and then the second lemon squash broke. I'm just letting that plant try to produce a little bit of squash that's on it. Our zucchini got knocked over by something. So I need to lift that up. And our Ron Denise also got knocked over by something. I have a feeling something tried to walk through this bed. Our radishes have fully bolted. Um, these are the daikon radishes. They're in here to help deter squash bugs. So far that's been working. Something really got in here. Mm. I wanted to show you this though. I'm not going to eat them right now. But these are the radish seed pods. And you can actually eat these um, when they're young. And they will taste like radishes. Which is awesome. So our squash bed could totally be doing better. It's not. But that is what it is. This is Sugar Rush Peach. It is putting off lots of peppers right now. So we should be having a decent harvest coming up. These are all hotter peppers. Uh, this huge thing is a poblano. You can see, let's see. You can see one of the peppers there. 
So all this bush, and I got one pepper on it right now. The one back here is the jalapeno. And that down there is a sriracha pepper. And hiding all the way under here, because I didn't know the difference, is a shishito. It's trying, but it's not getting enough sun, guys. So now I know for the future. And we do have some nasturtium down here. This bed really needs to be weeded bad. This has our thyme, our calendula starting to bloom. And something ate the top of that. Whatever it was that came in here came all the way down here and ate the tops to all the green beans. Luckily, I was about ready to pull these out, but I mean, I was just getting dragon tongue green beans. And look at that. They just ate all my leaves. Those little pesky critters. So I'm not super, super happy about this. But it is what it is, in all honesty. There's not much I can do about it right this second. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say on it. I'm going to come through here, harvest what I can. And then these are going to come out. And I'm going to get ready to plant some other stuff in here. Um, my supports fell down over here um, for the tomatillos, but they are growing. There's lots of little balloons in here, and over on the other side, which I'll take you to in a minute, um, that has uh, some that are actually getting very close, if not ready to be picked. So this is the Sea of Tomatillos. Our sunflowers are just about at their end. Almost all of them are past their prime and these are cutting sunflowers so we're not gonna get viable seeds. But look at that beauty. That's a stunning sunflower. So most of these sunflowers will come out in preparation for the next phase in that bed. Um, I'm going to be leaving the basil in this bed, but all my beets got eaten. They're, they're just gone. I am really not happy about that. So, it, again, it is what it is. So, I'm going to be doing a row cover out here to help from pests, but that should help deter the deer as well um, when I come to plant the next round of stuff. So my husband and I are actually going to the store today to buy stuff for that. So I weeded out in here, which left the two rows of beets, and they're just decimated. Um, the mustard's all bolting, so that's going to be coming out, but that basil looks amazing. We're going to walk around here. I'm going to get a sip of coffee. Check out my new setup for coffee in the garden. It's a mason jar with a uh, lid and a silicone sleeve. So this is the back side. You can see the mustard's all bolting. Lots of bugs in here. Lots of stuff happening. I got a lizard. Let's see if you can see the little guy. He's a blue tail. He ran away. Okay. So let's look at these tomatillos. So some of these tomatillos are split. Oh, that one's rotten. That's a bummer. Well, that one was ready. I'll pick that up in a second when I go to harvest. Let's see. Oh no, the caterpillars are getting them. So I'm going to come through here 
and get what I can. So once they start to split open like that, they are ready. So I need to just come through here and see what I can find. I'm going to grab that one that fell. Oh, yeah. Caterpillar got that guy too. Man. These pesky little critters. Okay. That one got eaten, but this one did not. It's not fully open. But I'm going to grab that. So I'll come through here and talk to my husband about what should be, what we should pick when. But lots of tomatillos coming on. So our asparagus is looking good. Just letting it fern out. I got half the bed weeded, the other half I did not. And our sweet potatoes got decimated last night. This was full of lovely, lovely greens. And now it's full of lovely weeds. You can see how the tops are on. So, that's really unfortunate. Um, our potatoes are dying. I'm just going to move on. It, that's just unfortunate. So, the potatoes are dying. And um, this is going to be time to dig pretty soon. I'm not digging until my best friend gets back. And we're going to do that together probably this coming Sunday. And then our corn is growing beautifully. Um, that's The buckets are all just dirt. It has weeds in it. And then I need to weed around the artichokes some of these artichokes are doing great those are not getting enough sun those two so come back around here and I'll show you the artichokes in the corner here these are doing much better and then on today's project is dealing with this section down here. So my husband's gonna weed eat and um, clear the paths out. So we have the pumpkins growing down here um, and we have one loofah that survived for that area. So we need to get the trellising up and we need to get the this weed eated. And then we're gonna lay an area of um, bark down here to make the weeds less pressure around here. I will still have to weed eat around the, where the pumpkins are, but it's going to make it a lot better down here um, to have the path of bark going from the gate all the way down to where the loofahs are going to be. And I really don't think those loofahs are going to do anything this year. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting mounds of dirt along the bottom of each row and I will be planting um, peas there. So we'll have a variety of peas, three different types of peas that we'll have growing up the trellis there as well. And if the loofah does its thing, great. If not, great. So, so that's it before the big changes start to happen. Um, I am also starting today, so you'll see another video um, with me in the same outfit. Um, I'm starting seeds for the fall. Um, I am going to direct sow some carrots, so I'm a little little worried about that right now. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I do need to get, uh, I have netting ordered and on its way. I think it gets here tomorrow. And then um, we're going to start figuring out how we're going to do hoops to cover stuff. Um, and then have frost protection in the future. But we're not anywhere near frost yet. We have time for that. But whatever we use for insect netting, um, those, that same structure is what we're going to use for frost. So the critters have found the garden, um, which is sad. So I am going to, we're going to have to thought process through a few things and decide how we're going to handle it. If it is deer, 
which I think it is. Let me know if you know what's eating this stuff, those particular things, mainly green beans and sweet potatoes and okra. Um, but if it's deer, I need to figure out a way to deter them from hopping the fence. So I think I have an idea that may be like way overboard. So we'll see. I don't know. We got to figure it out. Um, because they're just going to keep coming back and there are lots and lots and lots of deer here. Um, like not just one or two at a time. It's like a pack of 15. And so once their buddies find out, it's game over. Um, so that's kind of what we're working on with right now. And um, what I have for my garden tour for July 30th. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video.